Hi, it's Doug. Today, you're going to read a story about someone named Santiago. Santiago went spelunking with his cousin. Spelunkers are people who explore caves. In this story, Santiago discovers there's one important thing missing when you go deep inside a cave. You're going to read about Santiago's trip inside the cave. But you aren't just going to read. Sometimes you'll get up and do something, look for clues, or stop to talk about your ideas. Let's turn the page and get started. Hi, I'm Santiago. This is my cousin, Valeria. Valeria is a park ranger. She works at a park where there are trees and trails and a river. There's even a big cave. Valeria said, I'm going to explore the cave tomorrow. Do you want to come? Yes, I cried. It will be cold and dark in there, Valeria said. That night, I thought about how to get ready for our cave adventure. My jacket would keep out the cold. But I wondered, can I see in the dark? When I went to bed that night, it was dark in my room. Really dark. Just a little bit of light leaked under the door from the light in the hall. I looked around my room. At first, I couldn't see anything. Then, I could see a little bit. After a while, I could see a lot. The next morning, Valeria and I hiked to the cave. She gave me a bright yellow helmet to wear. It had a light on top. This helmet will protect you from falling rocks, she said. The light will help you see in the dark. I put on my helmet, but I knew I wouldn't need the light. A dirt path led into the cave. Valeria walked inside and I followed. There were rocks all around. When I looked behind me, I could see the blue sky. When I looked in front of me, I could see Valeria just fine. I knew I'd be able to see inside the cave. We walked deeper into the cave. Valeria turned on her helmet light. She told me to turn mine on too. I don't need it, I told her. I can see in the dark. Let's try an experiment, Valeria said. Hold my hand and we'll go deeper into the cave. Then you can decide about using your light. I held Valeria's hand. When we went deeper into the cave, the path went around a corner. I looked behind me, but couldn't see the sunlight anymore. Valeria's headlamp lit up the rocks. I'm going to turn off my light, Valeria said. Let's see what happens. Let's do it, I said. I knew I'd be able to see just fine. Valeria turned out her helmet light. It got very dark. I held her hand tighter. I looked in front of me and behind me. This is all I could see. Well, Valeria said, do you think you need your light? We need to wait a minute, I told her. Sometimes it takes a while to see in the dark. Okay, I'll count to 20. While Valeria counted, I tried everything to see. I blinked and blinked. I opened my eyes wide. I scrunched my eyes closed, then opened them really fast. Still, this was all I could see. What do you see? Valeria asked. Nothing, I said. Ready for some light? I guess so, I said. Valeria turned on her headlamp. She switched on my headlamp too. Suddenly, I could see the cave around us. Wow, it's beautiful, I cried. I don't get it, I said. I can see in the dark in my bedroom at night. Why not here? How is being in this cave different from your bedroom at night? Valeria asked. 
Let's get up and move. Walk around the room. Can you figure out where light in the room comes from? How many ways can you find for light to get in during the day? At night? Look around your house where you're sitting right now. Where is the light coming in during the daytime? Do you have lights on in your house? Do you have windows where the sun shines coming through? Maybe you have a light coming from your computer screen or your iPad screen or even a cell phone. Do you have a flashlight? Where's the light coming from in your house? Go ahead, tell me. What about at nighttime? When you're in your room and the nighttime or even in your house or even outside at nighttime, where does light come from at night? Do you have to turn on a light? Maybe it comes from your computer again or your cell phone. Light can come from all kinds of places. Stop and think about it. What's one place that light comes from at night? Let's stop and talk. Think about your bedroom at night. Is there any light at all? If there is, where does it come from? I thought about what Valeria had asked. I have windows in my bedroom, I said. Moonlight can shine in the windows. So can light from street lights. Right, Valeria said. Anything else? There's a light in the hall, I replied. There's a night light in my room, too. Maybe I do need light to see. I guess we'd better leave our helmet lights on, I told Valeria. We can't see without the light, and I don't want to miss any more of this cave. The End Today, what you're going to do for your activity is pick a room in your house. A room where you can make it really dark. So it might be a room where you have curtains over the window or a room where you can turn the lights out and shut the door. Maybe it's your bedroom, maybe it's an office. So go ahead and pause the video and find that room now. Once you've made it to your room, what you want to do is you're going to write a message on a piece of paper. And you want to hang that paper on one side of the room. So maybe that paper has a secret message that says, I love you. You might even write it in different colors. If you use different colors, it might help you with the experiment to see if we can see different colors in the light and the dark. So I'm going to try black, I'm going to try red, and I'm going to try green. And I would love to see what colors I can see the best. Then, once you have that on the wall on one side of the room, you are going to put your body on the other side of the room. With the light on, so here's my light, shines bright. With the light on, try to see what you can see and what you can read on this paper. Can you see the words? Can you read the words? Can you see the colors? Can you see that I used black and red and green or whatever color you may have used? Can you see those colors? Hmm. Then what you're going to do is turn the lights off. Shut the window. Cover it with the curtain. Now, can you see the words? Can you read them? Are there any letters that are easier to see than others? If you can see any of them, can you see any of the colors on there? So I'm thinking that maybe some colors might be easier to see when it's darker than other colors. Once you're done with the activity, you can turn the light 
back on whatever your light may look like and talk talk to your parents talk to your brother or sister talk to yourself if you have to which was it easiest to see it when the lights were on or when the lights were off was it easier to read the message in the day or the night and are some colors easier to see at night than other colors have fun friends I'd love to see a picture of the poster that you made that you put across the room also let me know in a text box what was easiest what was hardest about this experiment as always stay curious my friends